Hello and welcome or welcome back to my new channel. My name is Jania and in this video I'm going to be deep cleaning my kitchen, including the sink, sink drains and the sink faucet, the oven, oh, we're going to deep clean the dishwasher, try and get rid of all the stains off of my stove top that don't seem to want to go away no matter what I do. And then we're going to go over the kitchen cabinets and clean off all that sticky greasy oily gunk that gets on your kitchen cabinets and especially into the corners and uh, the detailed parts of the cabinets if you have any and we're also going to try a couple of new products that you probably have heard of but maybe haven't tried yet so the first thing I'm doing is emptying the dishwasher because I'm quite determined to start deep cleaning it. We need to clean the filter and run it with vinegar and all that stuff, but we need to have it emptied first and the sink not really full of dishes, hopefully. And I'm also trying to finish cooking, so there is a lot going on here. In our household, we run the dishwasher about twice daily, so I was trying to catch the dishwasher empty, which never really happens because we have kids I have a two-year-old girl and a 10 month old boy so I was trying to catch that perfect moment where the sink and the dishwasher are both empty <laughs> impossible because when you have babies any task no matter how easy will be four times as difficult but as you can see I'm getting through with all the dishes and we're going to start in just a minute with deep cleaning the dishwasher and the sink drains my kitchen desperately needs some decluttering and I've been postponing that task for quite a while now so I think my next video is going to be just about that. I think you're going to enjoy that one as well because we're going to include some DIY organizers and I can't wait, I just cannot wait to see my spices organized. I do like making real life cleaning and organizing videos and stay on the budget at the same time. So if you are into that kind of content I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself and the way you fight it well, I get it. Now I'm so tired. So we now emptied the dishwasher and we run it again with all the dirty dishes and by the time it was done it was the next morning so now i am really starting the deep cleaning together with my morning coffee so i'm gonna get my one cup of vinegar ready to run it in an empty dishwasher but first we need to clean that filter from the inside of the dishwasher taking the filter out of the dishwasher really is very easy you just have to unlock it following the arrows on the filter and take it out so i was really surprised at how dirty my filter was so i'm going to use some dishwashing soap to clean it some toothbrush a sponge which i'm gonna toss after i'm i'm done with cleaning it and also some baking soda i'm also going to take it apart the filter with the easy lock and unlock kind of button if you can call it that so i can properly clean it I did not expect to see my dishwasher filter that dirty because I thought I was keeping up with it and I know I think you're supposed to do it monthly and I thought I did it just a couple of months ago until I saw the way it looked. It wasn't pleasant so I think it's been about four months in reality so. So the filter is all clean now, I'm going to put it back together and then stick it into the dishwasher, lock it in and run the dishwasher with one cup of vinegar on the longest, heaviest cycle. Now we're switching to the oven and those stains look pretty serious so I'm going to use some heavy cleaner. 
but first I'm going to wipe it with some vinegar and paper towels it's also easy to use vacuum for that kind of stuff but mine broke so I'm just using microfiber cloth for now I'm going to use heavy duty easy off it's my favorite stuff for that kind of job and I'm going to just spray it close the door and leave it for a couple of hours in the meanwhile we're going to boil some water to start cleaning our sink drains and I'm going to get some vinegar and baking soda ready I don't follow measurements to a T but normally you would use about a half a cup to a cup of baking soda per sink I have a double sink so I'm doing a bunch of baking soda and about a cup of vinegar for each sink I'm also going to mix some hot water with baking soda and add some Dawn dishwashing soap and soak the sink stuff in there so because I want it to shine I just received the pink stuff that I ordered and I'm going to be trying it out on a couple of things today for the first time so this is the sink we're dealing with at the moment So I think the pink stuff did a pretty decent job on my sinks and now the water is boiling for the drains so I'm going to pour it down the drains and this is normally where the all the smelly stuff comes out and you can actually smell if your sink is bad. I'm also going to boil, uh, going to boil some more water because I will need it later. And now I'm putting the soda into the drains and trying to push it down so to get it inside. It's telling me to run away from you Come a little bit closer yeah. Then I'm gonna pour some vinegar down each drain and leave it alone again for about 10 minutes You're a little bit crazy It's been days but you never change What's love got to do with it? He comes around so now it's been a couple of minutes and I'm going to pour some more boiling water down the drains to see if there is any more unpleasant smell coming out and if I maybe need to do a round number two with vinegar and baking soda but there wasn't any smell so I was done with the sinks I was just going to put away the leftover of the baking soda and give it another another little final clean with a dishwashing soap and actually get inside the insincorator with the toothbrush you get mad every time you lose You can't take me with you I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse Come a little bit closer Yeah I can really start over Yeah In the back of my mind There's someone waiting on me You're just wasting my time Because you're scared and lonely Finally got some closure Later in this video I'm going to soak this faucet overnight in vinegar and I'm gonna get to that after I'm done with deep cleaning everything else on the list in this kitchen. Getting to the hardest part of the kitchen, which is my stove top. It's got some stains that would not go away no matter what I do. So I'm going to start with putting the grates into the sink and spraying them with some Dawn power wash. The 
this is the part I'm going to be working on a lot today and I'm going to start with the lightest solution which is Dawn dishwashing soap and work my way up to try and get it to go away but I don't know at this point what this is if it's dried food or if it's the coating coming off or maybe the finish I'm not sure but I keep on trying different things and now I'm going to leave it to soak for just a few minutes been a couple of minutes now and nothing has changed so it's time to try the pink stuff and do some scrubbing I think it kind of looks better but it still needs some work I am going to go back to the stovetop in a little bit uh, but I thought I was done for a moment there but I decided to change my mind and try a couple of more things in the meanwhile we are going to take care of the dishwasher because our cycle with the vinegar is done so I'm going to put some baking so soda on the bottom of the dishwasher and let it run for the shortest cycle but first I'm going to take that pretty hot cup out of there and yes I still didn't get a chance to go and change from my pajamas but it's quite early in the morning in my defense also you're supposed to put about one cup of baking soda on the bottom of the dishwasher when doing what I'm doing right now I love this all-purpose cleaning vinegar by Ant Pannies and I run out of it so fast because I love it so much. I have tried lavender and lemon and it can get quite pricey though. So I'm using the bottle and I poured some regular cleaning vinegar in there and that's what I use for pretty much everything. So at this point I'm trying easy off oven cleaner on my stovetop. And for those who think that it is coating or finish coming off of my stovetop, I'm sorry to hurt your eyes, but I really don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I think it's kind of getting better each time I try something new and at this point I'm going to go ahead and do the last step which is heavy duty easy off oven cleaner I'm going to just spray it and leave it for a few minutes I've tried sometimes but you're making me nervous so the heavy duty didn't do much difference on the stove top but it works every time inside the oven I'm very pleased with it it does its job every time so there's still a couple of small stains left there but they are just not going away I guess I'm gonna have to live with them or leave the heavy-duty cleaner there overnight and see how it does but I'm not doing that today if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments thanks I'll be quite honest I don't remember the last time I looked inside this one drawer but at least I'm getting there we are done with the stove top and the oven at the moment but there is still a couple more things to come especially the kitchen cabinets and how to get that greasy dust off of them
trying the butter knife and microfiber cloth or paper towels to get all the lovely stuff from between the oven and the countertops. I'm quite surprised to see that the microwave is not that bad, so I'm going to just wipe it with some vinegar and my microfiber cloth. Alright, we're getting to the cabinets. I did the top ones just a couple of days ago, online about two weeks ago, but I know they're relatively clean and it's the bottom ones that need some cleaning today. And normally for that kind of job I would use my self-made uh, vinegar solution with water and dishwashing soap, but today I just received Young Living Thieves all-purpose cleaner for the first time and I'm going to be trying that. I just first need to put the racks away, the uh, wipe the countertops and get rid of that huge container with pink water which is my hydroponic solution and so I'm gonna have to get my husband for that one. So when it comes to kitchen cabinets it, uh, they get that kind of grease on them and then the dust falls and it's just oily greasy kind of stuff in the detailed parts of the cabinets and it's hard to get get it out because it's just stuck there and it's greasy so i um i'm going to clean it in just a minute and i'll show you the easy way i have found that have that has worked for me and i think it's just so simple and the best kind of so it's uh, coming up in just a second I gotta say I really like this cleaner so far it smells pretty pleasant and it's all natural and also it does a pretty good job at least on my cabinet so far So first I tried to get this stuff off with just scrubbing with the microfiber cloth and my nails and whatever it was. I mean it was coming off but it was taking some time. So I decided to go the old fashioned way and just use a toothbrush and it worked like magic. So of course I used the Thieves cleaner today but that's not really necessary, you might as well switch to dishwashing soap as long as it's degreasing 
cleaning solution, it should work. So the secret is not so much in the cleaning product as much as it, it is in the toothbrush, really. And also there isn't much scrubbing involved in this, I promise. Forever, forever. So all the major deep cleaning stuff is done in the kitchen, but there is still one thing to come, which is soaking the faucet in the vinegar in vinegar overnight. And I'm gonna get to that in a moment. In the meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I'm going to be working on decluttering my kitchen in the next uh, video, so I hope you stay tuned for that. If you consider subscribing to my channel, you would get notifications when my next videos and when my videos are out. I would really love for you to subscribe if you like this kind of content. The kitchen is done so uh, as you can see for my faucet I'm just gonna need a sandwich bag or any kind of plastic bag and a rubber band I'm going to pour some vinegar into the bag and then put the faucet into the bag and secure it with a rubber band and leave it overnight like this and in the morning just take it out and it's all done mine is pretty clean but the first time I did it mine was pretty disgusting so when I took it off in the morning I still had to scrub it with some dishwashing vin uh, dishwashing uh, soap and it was fine I watch you as you drive do you know I'm looking 